Welcome, everyone, back to Curiosities. And it's been really strange last few days, and I made some observations that I'd like to share. But before I get into any of that, please do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Please consider visiting our, uh, <laughs> I can't talk today. Please consider visiting our T Public store at tpublic.com slash user slash King Asylus. Consider becoming a patron of the show so we can get all that interesting and exclusive content. Let's get into today's topic. And as many of you, if not all of you all around the world have already heard about the assassination attempt of former President Donald J. Trump, um, a friend of mine did share a video with me. She was there. Uh, she was sitting right behind uh, Trump when the incident occurred and uh, um, did manage to capture some video that I will be sharing. Uh, it's probably video that you have not seen anywhere before. At least as far as I know, she hasn't released this to any news outlets or anything like that. Um, she was very close to the president and got... Um, you, everybody's seen the, the frontal footage of it, but this is the back footage. This is the on the back of the stage footage uh, that you're going to see in today's program. But I want to talk about a little, I want to talk a little bit about what's happened in the aftermath of that assassination attempt. So there are people who have been uh, immediately after the incident that were going on social media talking all kinds of trash and saying terrible things about. Um, basically wanting a different result than what occurred. And that was very disheartening, very uh, difficult to wrap my head around as a lot of Americans I and mean, a lot of people around the world. I, 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 for the life of me, cannot understand why anyone would wish uh, that kind of death <laughs> on someone uh, and at the same time declare themselves as kind and inclusive and you know humanitarian and all these other things that, and then they're wishing death on, on a foreign president uh, to me that is the the tip of hypocrisy that is the crux of de evil is <laughs> the crux of evil if you ask me and there have been uh, people have been doling out some consequences um and reaping the rewards if you will or suffering the consequences of doing and saying these things in public. So I've been pulling up a couple of stories that I noticed here. So I want to share with you this article that was published in the Kansas City Star. The headline reads, School worker fired over Facebook post about Trump assassination attempt, officials say. <laughs> so imagine, now I'm a, I'm a school teacher. I can't imagine going on uh, a social media site and trying to play off this assassination tape uh, assassinate assassination attempt as something good but there apparently were people and have been people that are trying to spin this as oh what a disappointment and that is disgusting on so many levels i have defriended a number of people as a result of that kind of callousness heartlessness and pure evil uh, i won't stand for it i'm sorry if we were friends before um, we're not friends anymore. Not if you're not if you're spewing that kind of hatred and crap. No, I'm I'm sorry. You don't you don't have to agree with somebody politically, but you don't wish them death. And then all those you know people their lives were impacted. That one gentleman who was killed, etc. Um, it's just an atrocity. It's a travesty. And and for people to go out there and you know make a mockery of it uh, is you know uh, deplorable on every single level. Let's see what happened here in this in this article. It says an employee at South Dakota Middle School at a South Dakota Middle School has been fired um, after a social media post she made following the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump, officials say. She, this was this is quoting her. Uh, this is a quote uh, from her post. It says, shoot, if only he would have had his scope slighted incorrectly said Cassandra Olson, who made the post on Facebook under the name Cassie Martin, according to the Sioux Falls Argus leader. The comment was made after the attempted assassination of Trump on Saturday, July 13th in Butler County, Pennsylvania. The accuser, 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, was shot dead by the Secret Service. Backlash ensued following the post by Olson, who was a behavior facilitator at Ben Rifle Middle School in Sioux Falls, Dakota. News now reported. So here's someone who's a, a middle school teacher. I'm a middle school teacher. 
and goes on there and basically insinuates that, oh, my God, if only he had had his scope on correctly, we would be having a different conversation. Absolutely. We'd be having a very, very dark and different conversation. I mean, if you're a school teacher, you would not want your students to behave that way. And yet you are on social media acting like a complete. Uh, it's just it's, it's, I can't find the words, man, that, that really describe just what an wicked, just vile, ugh, terrible, terrible person to do something like that. I mean, my God. And it doesn't stop there. I mean, there have been all kinds of uh, stories that have been popping up. Um, Black Jack's uh, band Tenacious D was in Australia and his, his partner there, he was wishing him a happy birthday on stage. And he comes out and says, what do you, you know, what did he want for Christmas? What do you want for your birthday? And he's like, oh, I want the next time for them to not to miss Trump. Um, and this is and here's here's the part I think that is really in- interesting to me. The part that these people are finally facing a com- they're finally facing consequences. They're finally facing accountability for the vile and wicked and evil things that they say on social media and, and elsewhere where you've had the media cover, not even the media can cover up for you because the media is trying to cover their own, you know, there's their own CYA going on here and people are running for cover. And if you notice, and I have been monitoring very closely some of these um, feeds on social media and people have really stepped it back a few steps, a few notches. People have really like slowed down the rhetoric. They really have, been watching themselves and how they in, in my Facebook feed. I mean, a lot of the people who would normally be out there chanting all kinds of hatred towards Trump. They're nowhere to be found. A lot of them I've deleted anyway, but there was always, there's always some. And as soon as I spot them, man, I just get rid of, them. I just unfriend them because there's no room for that. You know, if we're ever, if you we were really serious about uniting this country, if you're really serious, if you're truly serious about humanity and about, you know, doing the right thing for mankind and, for everyone to come together and to obliterate a division and be inclusive and welcoming to everybody. The first thing you got to do is look in the mirror and ask yourself, are you being that? Are you that? Do you welcome people when you're in your own circle? Do you judge people based on you know, their race, based on their political affiliation, based on the amount of money they make? based on what kind of car they drive. This is the judgmental aspect of humanity, of, of people, of humans, that keep us from reaching the goals of humanity, the, 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 the utopian plateau that we so desperately write about and, and dream about. And these goons like Stephen King and all these other clowns that are on social media that, that, that spew all this demonic rhetoric, all this hatred, all this blackness if you will this cesspool this black hole of 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 deep dark resentment these are the people at the same time want to say oh you know we gotta we gotta make you better we gotta be inclusive we gotta we gotta try to do what's right for our fellow man just screw you man like seriously screw you stephen king screw you MSNBC, Joe Scarborough, and all you people that go on there, Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar and Joy Reid and all you clowns that go on television every single day and spew your rhetoric and incite hatred and incite, in many cases, try to incite dangerous acts, fights, just, you're just so offensive on every level. You're just so sour and so I can't imagine, I can't imagine being in the room and trying to be friendly with somebody like Joey Behar. I just can't do it. I can't imagine sitting across the dinner table from Whoopi Goldberg and being pleasant. I just can't see myself in, in a, in a room with Anna Navarro or Joe Scarborough and be like, Oh, Hey, how's it going guys? Hey, it's a great day outside, isn't it? No, no. I think, I think we've passed that point now where we're going to be you know, pleasant and, and have all these subtleties and trying to be the, trying to play the, the, the nice card here. I've reached that point and I know millions of Americans have reached that point. I am ready to disassociate myself from these people until they figure it out until they're sincere enough to come forward and say, you know what? I was completely wrong about this. I sincerely apologize. I, and they, they try to win back 
what they have literally pissed on for years. I've reached that point. I'm sorry. Like, I don't want to deal with these people. I don't care how long I've known them. I don't care how friendly we've been. I don't care if I'm related to you. If you're going to go on television or if you're going to go on social media, Facebook or anywhere else and wish death on another human being, let alone a person who is running for president, you don't like his policies? Fine. You don't like who, you know, what, what he stands for? Great. Decide that at the ballot box. Do not continue to come onto these sites and incite all this negative rhetoric and, 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 and gloat, gloat in that somebody was nearly killed and somebody did die and there are people in the hospital. Don't gloat about that. You're not a good person, man. You are not a good person. I don't care who you are. Understand this. I don't care who you are. I don't even care if you and I share the same bloodline. If you're going to be doing that, do not talk to me. Do not associate with me. Do not try to connect with me until... You get it through your head. No, man. <laughs> no, it's not cool. It's not good. I'm not going to forgive you. I don't have to. Nor do I want to. I'm sorry, but I don't. You have to find it in your heart to be sincere. I'm not going to give you any more pointers. You've had years, years and years and years to figure this out and say, you know what? The media is sowing division. The, the, political, uh, the political climate is, is, is hostile. You've had time to sort it out and rue your research and say, you know what? They're playing us for fools, man. They're pitting us against each other because they want control. Divide and conquer. It's not rocket science, man. It isn't. So, no, I am not going to apologize. I'm not. If I unfriended you and you're watching this and you're wondering why did you do that? Because you're an asshole, man. That's why. That's why. I want nothing to do with you, man. Nothing. I don't even want to talk to you. I'm not going to answer your phone. I'm probably not going to recognize your number anymore because I've deleted you. I'm going to put you in the scam category. When I see a number I don't, I don't recognize, I just let it ring and then leave a message. That's it, man. We've come to that point. No, no. There are no more chances, man. None. I'm sorry. There are none. All I can say is that accountability is finally starting to happen. Too little, too late. We almost lost a, a, a former president. We almost lost a man who's the GOP nominee for a president. We lost the fireman and his family, lost a father, a husband, a brother, and all these other things because of what? Because you don't like his policies because you think he's this or that? No, man. That guy went on that roof took that shot because he believed the crap the people like you continued to regurgitate over and over and over again. You're partly to blame. You're partly to blame. I'm not saying it's all on you. But yeah, you're part of that. That's on you, man. So no, I don't want to be your friend. I don't even want to be related to you. Sorry. That's what you think. That's what you believe. You want You want to see this man perish in a... In a horrible way in front of people in a nightmarish way <laughs> yeah man we're we're not we're not cool it's that simple we're not let me know what you guys think i know this was a heavy one but you know you can drop a comment if you're not com if you're not comfortable with that feel free to dm me i, I know people send me dms and I'm, and I'm grateful for that hit that like button share this video with others and uh hopefully the next time we go on we're talking about something more positive because let me tell you something um, yeah, I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm done with it. If you're done with it too, smash that like button. If you're done with it too, share this video with others. If you're done, like done, I'm like, I'm not dealing with these people anymore. I don't care. Then, uh, we're on the same page until next time. God bless.